All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, got a quick, a quick hit. I wanted to read Acts, the second chapter, starting at the 17th verse. All right, because you can see through the spirit that, you know, the Lord is, you know, doing a lot of wondrous, uh, what the scriptures say, a lot of um, wondrous works, all right, to make you wander, you know, upon what is it, what it is that, you know, that you see or what it is that is going on in the world, okay? Now, this video that, you know, posted up early this morning, real early that I got went to and um, people were debating about whether this chariot was uh, a blimp you know and I looked it up a guy came on a YouTube probably eat him you know to debunk that it was a chariot and he gave the flight uh, the flight uh, what you call it the flight timestamp of the blimp that flew around the area in the time and you know just you know my observation you know whether okay it is uh i'm gonna say this i just say off you know to the, in the straight 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 up it's not a blimp okay it's not a blimp now could it be esau's military could it be uh what you call the project blue beam some sort of technology esau possessed or could it just just be the lord's chariots one of the lord's angels now like I said, just my little quick observation and watching it and seeing things, looking at what people talk about and saying about it, the uh, flight timestamp of the blue, of the, uh, of the, uh, the blimp. You know, let me say this. If it was a blimp and it was that close, all those people on the highway would have noticed that it was a blimp. Everybody who's saying that it's a blimp is people who just researching that wasn't actually there, you know? And another thing, you know, it was a highway, okay? People wasn't just in the street. They stopped and got out on a highway to be amazed and wonder at what they were watching, you know? And you can feel the spirit within the different, uh, different clips of the video of the people who were filming it. They were terrified. They were in fear. You know, it was a genuine fear. Now, like I said, could it be Esau's technology? Could it be Project Blue Beam? Could it be military operations, some sort of ship? But I, I tell you this, it wasn't the Goodyear blimp, all right? So anyway, I just wanna read here, Acts 2 and 17. And it came to pass in the last days, say of Yahweh, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. So the Lord is in these last days of pouring out his spirit upon all flesh to do what? To prophesy. The word prophesy means to say before, okay? Speak things, you know, before things actually happen, okay? And if a person is speaking according to scripture of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's word, then that's prophecy. We can see us of the hopeful elect with eyes open you know, with vision, we can see that this thing is coming to an end, which is Esau's kingdom. That's without a shadow of a doubt. The old world of America is being destroyed from the inside out. It's finished already, you know? We're just going through those birth pains, all right? But then you have non-believers who don't believe in the scriptures, don't believe in, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They may believe in Christianity, the, the uh, white supremacy, you know, that's being pushed by these, um, uh, Christians, you know, the plantation slavery doctrine, so they don't believe in the entire scriptures, okay? They don't know what uh, a so-called UFO is, all right, according to scripture. So anyway, it says, and your old men shall dream dreams, so you're going to have dreams and visions. And someone yesterday, well, this morning told me that they even had a dream, you know, so you just know it's all in the spirit. Also, too, I got to make mention as uh, Elder Sakharan. All right, he put out a post on his channel 
of breaking news yesterday on how the Pentagon, all right, have sent Japan basically a, a uh, document on how to deal with the sightings and seeing what you call UFOs, all right? So these so-called UFOs are gonna, they're gonna show themselves because we are in the latter days. We are in, in the end of days of, of Esau, all right? And what are they to do? You know, if, when you think about it, if Esau don't put a, and get a hand on, and a grip on the narration of what you're seeing, then he will lose, you know, his agenda in which he's striving to push, all right? You know, seeing the Lord's chariots just defeats the whole uh, false deception of Esau's lies in so many ways, all right? So anyway, and even though he also made at the beginning of this year that the UFOs are real, okay, in which they call UFOs, all right? But that's to play upon their narrative, you know? Could it be Esau ready to act out this evasion set up by them? You know, the next event, could it be the aliens invasion? Could it be the Project Blue Beam sowing uh, Cesare Borgia, the white Jesus Christ, all right, his face in the sky? It could be, all right? But we do know that the angels of the Lord do exist and they are here, all right? And they ride in those vehicles. Now it says, verse 19, and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke so these are the things that the lord are going to do and he's doing it all right wanders in heaven above what is a wander in heaven above when you're staring up in the heavens and looking up and wandering and seeing objects that's wandering trying to determine what it is and you're going to make out what it is for what you was told for what it is so they're calling it ufos it says in signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapors of smokes Volcanoes eruption, you got California on fire, even though it looks like it's also being tampered with with Esau and his technology to start those fires. But either way, it's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, the sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. So we're going to see eclipse. Now, someone earlier just sent me a clip in today. And I believe, um, yeah, I believe they was here in Jersey. And um, it shows the moon at a low point, blood red, man. All right. Those are signs from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Of destruction. Whether it's happening in the world right now or it's going to happen. So the Lord is telling us here in Acts 2 and 20, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. So you're seeing the moon turn to blood. Okay, you got something called the eclipse that happens happen so often. You know, it says before the great and notable day of the Lord comes. So these things are going to happen before the Lord come because these are the signs. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I just wanted to give my uh, two cents on the matter of that video. And all the controversy and talk about it being a blimp. All right. You know, just my humble opinion. I, I believe it's not a blimp. Because how would a blimp of a Goodyear blimp that's known. And everybody knows what it looked like. All right. Stop a highway. Stop people on the highway and cause traffic. And for everybody to get out their cars and look at it. You know. So I believe that it's not an actual blimp. Now, could it be Esau's military technology or could it just be the Lord's chariots? All right. The angel riding in the vehicles, you know, so either way, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will, will be done. And that's the elect getting delivered and Esau kingdom being destroyed. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.